Hello with you, this is uh, the second uh, VPN related tutorial in Cubes. Uh, this time we are going to do the CLI approach. Um, this requires a little bit of copy and paste, so I decided to open uh, Cubes documentation, which is actually really good. And as you can see, they also describe the uh, two different approaches, first by setting up a proxy VM and using the network manager. That's what we already did. And now there's a second approach. Um, they say this method is more involved than the other one, but it has anti-leak features that also make the connection fall closed should it be interrupted, which is pretty good. Um, this uh, will prevent uh, your computer from leaking the actual IP, and that's what you want. Um, so if you are a bit tech savvy, I would uh, recommend this approach. So um, they say um, they tested this with Fedora and Debian 8. Um, we are going to create another Fedora based one. Uh, select a proxy VM. Um, but the only difference they say is that uh, we shouldn't enable the network manager this time. So let's create our proxy VM. Let's call it um, this VPN CLI. FR1. Again, I will select a green one, turn it into a proxy VM, and click OK. And of course, we are going to uh, start it up. Okay, um, they also tell us to check if it has the VPN client software installed. So we simply uh, go to the sudo and type openvpn or openv and hit the tab and you will see that we have the packet installed. And we should also uh, disable the auto start, which should be disabled in, in my case anyway. And they also recommend to install nano to uh, create the scripts below. So we go and do that. Okay, so nano is also installed. Uh, run a terminal CLI in the da 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 da, then make a new VPN folder and copy your VPN config files here. So we go to the uh, read write. to the config folder and in here we create a folder called VPN. We go inside the folder and we download our bundle again. Or we, we actually don't need to download the bundle, we can just uh, create uh, download the config for French one and unpack it. So now we have the openvpn config file here, and we can also remove the zip file. Um, they also uh, renamed their file to openvpn client. I'm just going to do it like this. Um, they say that the files uh, such as CRT and PAM should also go here. Um, those are again inside the file, so we don't need to care about these.
our VPN uses a TAN adapter and they say um, that they commonly use TAN adapters and TAP didn't, hasn't been tested yet, but that is not a problem. Uh, lastly, the VPN client may not be able to prompt you for credentials when connecting to the server. So we go inside the OpenVPN config file and we go down to the auth user pass and create uh, or add another string called uh, userpass.txt and now I'm going to create a file called userpass.txt and in here in the first line there is my um, username and in the second pass uh, line I will uh, put the password And uh, this way, when starting the OpenVPN client, it will look inside this file and read the first line as the username and the second line as the password and try those. So we don't have to store our username and password. And now it tells us to, um, to test the configuration. And this is now creating a uh, connection, and as you can see, we uh, successfully connected. So our um, our test basically worked, and we can also uh, run a little trace route to verify that the VPN is actually routing the traffic. And you can see that the traffic is being forwarded as it's supposed to be. Um, now it tells us to create a DNS handling script. So let's close this window. We use uh, Control and C to exit out of this session. And now we create uh, the cubes VPN handler sh. Because we are already in, in the path, I can just uh, create the file like this. And now we have to uh, copy in the contents from this script. So I simply select all the text. I right click and press copy. And now I'm going to use a special keyboard uh, combination. So I um, use string, upper and C. And you can see, um, or, or string is, is called control in English. Okay, um, so control, shift, and C to copy, and control, shift, V to copy um, this into another app VM. So now I click on the other app VM, press control, shift, V, and now I can right click and paste. And you can see I have all the com contents copied over here. If, if you don't get that working, you can simply start a browser from uh, this VM, go to the side and copy paste it over here. Now we have to save the script and make it executable. Uh, so we do that by pressing Control and X. It asks us if we want to save it and we uh, press Y to save it and confirm with Enter. So now we change the permissions so we can make this script executable. Then it says configure client to use a DNS handling script. Using OpenVPN as an example, edit the config and add these lines. So again, we open the uh, config. Then we look for script security. You can search by pressing Control W. And you can see there is no script security in this one. So I'm adding it at the bottom of the page added by me, script security 2, if the interface is going up, so I'm going to call the cubes vpn handler sh up event, 
and if it's going down I will call the cubes VPN handler sh down. So it's basically running the script with two different arguments. Restart the client and test the connection again, this time from an app VM. Okay, so we go to our personal VM and select the this VPN CLI French one. And you can see that right now it's taking the route um, through the normal um, route because uh, this virtual machine isn't actually connected. What we could do is just do a... We could just start the connection like this. Wait for it to connect. And now we run our trace route again. And now you can see that this time it's going through the um, through the VPN. So far it seems all to work. So let's move on to the next step. So we can just cancel out again with uh, Control and C. And now we have to set up anti-leak rules. So we should remove all those lines. You can uh, delete a whole line by pressing Ctrl and K. Again, I'm going to select all the text I want to copy over. Right click, copy, string, shift, C, and string, shift, V. And now I can paste it. Again, I have to save it uh, by pressing Ctrl X, confirming with a yes and confirming with enter and now I have to make it executable as well. Okay, so we don't want to uh, always manually start up this whole process so now we also have to create the VPN's auto start function and we do this by adding another file the RC local one, which is a script that is always uh, run once you start your computer. And now we simply again select the text, right click, copy, control, shift, C. They told us to also clear the contents, so I'm going to do that as well. And now control, shift, V, and I can insert it change the VPN client and VPN option variables to match your VPN software. So the VPN client is OpenVPN, that's what I'm using, and we are using this as a config name, so everything is as it's supposed to be here. And we again exit out, save the file and make it of course executable. Restart the VPN, uh, the VM. The link should then be established automatically with a pop-up notification to that effect. So let's do that. So if I'm typing in a sudo reboot, it's going to shut down, but it's actually not going to start it back up because a um, a VM cannot basically start itself. So we have to manually start it, like this. Wait for it to come online and hopefully we should get some notification that we successfully connected.
and there we go. We got an error which tells us that the Mac is already in use, but we also got the message that the link is up. So we simply um, do a test. Since the personal VM is still using the CLI VM, I will simply run another trace route again. Okay, so maybe there is really an issue with the VPN, so I will just shut down that VM one more time. Ah, uh, okay, that's not possible. Okay, so I will simply shut down my personal VM for now. Then I should be able to shut down this VM. And now let's start it up again. So this time we didn't get any error message with a with a um, with a MAC address. Then I can start up my personal. Firewall uh, VM again. And let's see another trace route towards Google. And this time it all works out. So you can see I'm going through the VPN and I'm going then through France. What I can do to, to test this again is um, I simply open up the CLI one and type um, bvm-ng, which is um, basically showing how much traffic is going through the interfaces. Then I can go back to my uh, test uh, personal virtual machine and download a file. And you can see that um, the interfaces are going up here. So it's basically um, all the traffic is going through this VM. And the advantage now is uh, that we cannot actually leak any data. So if our uh, VPN dies, um, this one will simply not communicate to the internet again. Um, that's often a problem with VPNs. You are connected to a VPN for some odd reason. Um, the VPN server dies and you reconnect with your normal IP and uh, that way they can basically link your VPN and your uh, your uh, real IP together and they always know that it's you when they visit again uh, when you visit again okay so that's how to create a proxy VM on the CLI based way in cubes OS